Today I'm going to show you how to carry out a subtraction using the borrower method. First of all you need to lay out the numbers so you have the biggest number on the top and the smaller number on the bottom. So once you've lined up your numbers underneath each other, start on your right hand side and work out 4 take away 6. Well if you do 4 take away 6 this will give you a negative number. Uh, with this method we don't want negative numbers so what you need to do is go to the 7 next door take 1 off the 7 make that a 6 and pass the 1 and put it in front of the 4 to make 14 so then you can work out 14 take away 6 so that gives you 8 in the next column now you have 6 take away 3 which gives you 3 and then 5 take away 2 which is also 3. So let's move on to example 2. So this time you've got 3426 minus 1714. So start on your right hand side again. So 6 take away 4, well you can do that, that is 2. 2 take away 1, again you can do which is 1. The next column you've got to be careful with because you can't do 4 take away 7. Uh, that again will give you a negative number, so we need to borrow. So borrow off the 3, make that a 2, and pass the 1 that you've borrowed, put it in the 4 to make 14. So 14 take away 7 is 7, and then 2 take away 1 is 1. So let's move on to example 3. So this time we have 623 minus 257. So start on your right hand side. 3 take away 7. Well that you can't do so we need to go next door and borrow. So borrow 1 off the 2, make that a 1. And pass the 1 in front of the 3 to make it 13. So if you do 13 take away 7, that gives 6. The next column now you have 1 take away 5. Again you can't do this so we need to borrow yet again. So if you go to the 6, take 1 off the 6 that becomes a 5. Pass the 1 that you've borrowed, put it in front of the other one to make 11. So now we can do 11 take away 5 which again is 6. And in the final column you have 5 take away 2 which is 3. So we've got one last example to do now. This one's probably the hardest example. Um, when you have zeros there, you know the question's going to be a lot harder. So start on the right hand side, zero take away six, we can't do. So we can't borrow anything off here. We can't borrow anything here, so we have to go all the way to the end to borrow something. So let's take one off the seven, make that a six. Now you're not allowed to pass it all the way to the end, you have to pass it to the next column. So you have to pass that one and make that column ten. So we cross out the ten, then make that a nine, pass the one there. Cross out the next ten, make that a nine, and put the one there to make ten. So you have to pass it all the way down. So now we can do it, what's ten take away six? That's four. 9 take away 4 is 5, 9 take away 2 is 7, 6 take away 1 is 5.